His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda and the Commander in Chief of the EPDF made changes, some changes in the leadership of the EPDF. Honorable Major General, I'm sorry, Honorable General Mbasu Mbadi has been appointed Minister of State for Trade in the Ministry of Trade, Industry, Tourism and Cooperatives. General Mohozi Kenirugaba has been appointed the CDF of the EPDF. Deputy CDF, Honorable Lieutenant General Peter Iruelu, has been appointed Senior Presidential Advisor. In his position, he has been replaced by G Lieutenant General Samuel Okideng as Deputy CDF. The Joint Chief of Staff, Major General Leopold Kianda, has been appointed the Defense Advisor to location which will be indicated later. He's been replaced by Major General Jack Bakasumba as the new Joint Chief of Staff. Brigadier General D. Mujisha, Commander Special Forces Command, has been promoted to Major General. The changes take immediate effect. In the Army, there can never be a vacuum. I know we didn't have a Deputy Chief of Staff Land Forces, but certainly somebody will be appointed to be acting in the meantime, or a substantive one will be appointed. The out of CDF, General Mbadi has seen the APDF grow into one, the highest uh, saving cooperatives of Wazarendo, SACO, which is the, the, the EPDF SACO. He has seen the EPDF grow to start a science, an ICT uh, and science university in, in, in Jinja. He has seen the EPDF successfully deal a decisive blow against the ADF in Eastern Congo. He has seen successful operations against the cattle thieves and wrestlers in Karamoja. He has overseen the improvement of welfare in the army as he, as he leaves uh, from major to general. They have had side enhancements. And during his time as deputy CDF, we had seen the other ranks from private to captain also enhanced. He has left when we are now planning for re-enhancement of those ranks of captain to private again. I would like to salute uh, Honorable General Masumbadi for introducing the CDF's, um, it's called the CDF's mobilization campaign. Mm, that every year, even now we're about to start, and I'm sure it will continue, that every year commanders and the members of parliament visit units to talk to soldiers about the country, about their welfare, and also to listen to the soldiers over their concerns and whatever they need to understand in the developments going on in the country. It's been a tremendous uh, job. It has enhanced cohesion and cooperation within the army. So we have registered improvements both in operations and in welfare. The incoming CDF is going to consolidate, I'm very sure, consolidate the achievements so far registered and take us to higher heights. We are working on research and development as an army, so I'm very sure he will see us put a lot of emphasis on that. Of course, the welfare question is a continuous one. Oh, <coughs> Jan Umbadi has left when uh, the housing project has taken off. A number of uh, barracks have been built for brigades. Uh, and uh, when uh, General Mosk and Rogaba was CLF, he did oversee the implementation of this project. He's finding it now in Hygia. I'm very sure he's going to superintend its successful completion. Uh, the issue of welfare has always been high on his agenda. So we see that also taking center stage in the work he's going to do. Further professionalization of the EPDF certainly is a continuous process. And I'm sure uh, General Mosk and Rugaba is going to put a footprint on the successful completion of the professionalization process. Actually, the beginning of Special Forces was 
presidential protection combining with the airborne forces that uh, was an initiative of General Moskini Rugaba when he was, I think, left in Antikana at that time. And uh, he's been involved in combat in Central African Republic, in DRC, in S South Sudan. He has done courses both within and outside the country. So he's well positioned to execute the duties of the Chief of Defense Forces. I cannot answer for that for PLU because I don't, I don't speak for them. Uh, as a CDF, he has a, his plate full, I'm very sure. But as to how he will handle both, he's a full general, he knows how he will handle it. Deputy CDF has been an artillery officer mainly. Actually, in the operations against LRA, the, Sudan, the Sudanese from Khartoum and the LRA knew Okidingo was a gun. Because he was, as an artillery commander, he did a tremendous job in dealing a deadly blow to the LRA in the 90s. So General Kiding has been mainly a career officer in the artillery until he was appointed deputy CDF under General Moskele Rugaba and then force commander in Somalia of Artemis. So he's coming now deputize, the one he was deputizing as deputy CLF. They have worked together before, so they are going to make, I'm sure, a very good from the team. The President of the Republic of Uganda has powers to appoint a military officer in any position in the public service. It's been so since the appointment of the late General Aronda as Minister of Internal Affairs. You, we have General Edward Katumba Amala as Minister of Works. He's still a serving officer. So it's within the jurisdiction of the president to appoint a military officer to, or a general to serve in any other capacity in the country. The bottom line, there are places I think the commander-in-chief feels he needs the military energy. The military energy in this case I'm referring to the indefatigable uh, character of the general so far and the senior officers who have been deployed. Two, the discipline of the generals and military officers enables them to enables us to deliver whatever have been deployed without a wastage of delaying of time. Three, you, 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 when the military has done its job, the, its core mandate of combat operations, it's also supposed to participate in non-combat operations, what we call operations other than war. And so the commander in chief in his prerogative can pull us into the public domain to give a hand in order to achieve the desired end state for the country to achieve social economic transformation. Army command involves the following. We have the chief of defense forces as the overall commander and the controller of the UPDF. Then you have the land forces being commanded by the commander land forces who is the lieutenant general by rank. Then you have the air force, or air forces, that are being commanded by lieutenant general, now Okidi. And then the special forces command, whose commander has, was among those promoted yesterday to major general. Then we have the reserve forces commanded by lieutenant general, Charles Otema Awani. So there are four commands under the CDF. Of course, the establishment is the guiding tool now. It's the philosophy we are pursuing because we put all our mind on how we want this army to be governed, to be managed, to be led in the establishment. So, General Mike, uh, MK, or as, as is properly known, is coming to implement now the establishment that we are starting to implement this year, effective its launch. Uh, earlier this year at State House. However, there is supposed to be gazetting of the titles. Now, that's part of the implementation of the establishment. There are steps. Now, after signing and launching, next is implementation. What do you start with? You gazette the new titles. That means, therefore, once you gazette the new titles, the old ones will be degazetted. So, until a new gazette is produced, and as you know, there is a procedure about it. We are still using the titles.